Hacksaw Bill Hicks. Why am I calling him Hacksaw? I think that's the way I think of his comedy, Hack. He's like a hacksaw, just sawing away at stuff. Uh, Hicks, uh, Bill Hicks is bullshit, and he is one of these guys that's got death benefits. Uh, because he died young, he died of cancer at an early age. Maybe some people mistakenly think that a reference to Bill Hicks is something about a reference to Andy Kaufman. And he borrows some of Kaufman's cred. I'm not sure. Andy Kaufman was indeed a genius. Uh, Bill Hicks was not. Bill Hicks, uh, well, let's first of all, uh, we're going to slam him for being a junkie. Uh, and so fuck him. Uh, Self-pleasuring junkie. Uh, what else does he get? Oh, he's now, okay. Yeah, he has got the teen atheism edgelord uh, ring around him. Fuck. Oh, just the stupidest shit, too. And phony premises, too. Speaking of, this is two, here's a two in one. Uh, he'll do things, he would do things like um, make up a fake story that he was in uh, Texas or some fundamentalist Christian type. And then, of course, he uh, smirkingly challenged him, and the guy tells him, um, I, I believe that f uh, dinosaur fossils were put in the ground uh, by the devil to tempt us to believe in evolution. All right. So this is a fake thing, by the way. This is just a made-up fake premise so that uh, uh, Edgelord there can uh, get the audience to have a laugh. And then, of course, he's... It's not that he's really a punchline to it. It's just, I'm going to describe some Christian people as stupid and ignorant, and then I'm going to sneer and then make sneering faces at them. Okay, but your premise has to be real, like based on a real thing that real people would say. Uh, so you don't just make up fake things and then have a laugh at this fake thing that you made up. That, that sucks. That's why Hicks goes on the suck list. Uh, what else? Paranoid conspiracy fig. I'm supposed to say fig? Paranoid conspiracy. That's probably the drugs, though. That's because he was a junkie. So he got into junkie stuff about paranoia and uh, whatever, the Illuminati. Um, he also gets on the list because hecklers could break him. Um, holy fuck, if you are going to dish it out like him and you can't take it, Get the fuck off the stage, you weak coward. Um, there's actually quite a famous, uh, it's, you can find the video. You can find this video. Uh, he's doing an act and um, I don't know, I suppose part of his act would be things like he would go around going, I'm shitting out babies. That's what women do. They shit out more babies. And then he would pretend that he's taking a dump on the stage and that's what babies and that's what humans are. I guess it doesn't count for him because he's an edgelord. But uh, then some woman in the audience, though, heckles him. Uh, can't even remember what it is. It's not even that bad. It's, it's, a, it's a line or two or a phrase. Uh, and fucking Bill Hicks, that fucking little coward, just loses his goddamn mind and goes into you know just a screeching little woman yelling fuck you bitch you fucking fuck and he can't even contain himself um just screaming obscenities at her and uh then the coward just demands she get the fuck out of here get the fuck i guess he can't uh, engage with her I guess Mr. Witty there couldn't engage, so he just started screaming, Get the fuck out so I don't have to have you yell at me. Man, be my little echo. Thank you, it's my, my mother. And, uh, you suck. You fucking cunt. Get the fuck out of here right now. Get out. Fuck you. Fuck you, you idiot. You're everything that America should be flushed down the toilet, you fucking turd. Fuck you. Get out. Get out, you fucking drunk bitch. Take her out. Take her fucking out. Take her to somewhere that's good. Go see fucking Madonna, you fucking idiot piece of shit.
You suck, buddy. You suck. I can yell at the comedian because I'm a drunk cunt. That gives me carte blanche. I got a cunt and I'm drunk. I can do anything I want. I don't have a cock. I can yell at performers because I'm a fucking idiot because I got a cunt. Jeez, what a piece of garbage that guy was edgelord junkie oh american sell a sellout uh hicks is a sellout um i do know something about this when i lived in the uk he showed up there he wasn't so popular in the u.s um he shows up in the uk and what does he do he goes around okay so maybe if you don't understand british people might understand this but there's a kind of like the lowest common denominator uh, easy, you know, what do they call it? The low hanging fruit, the cheapest, the cheapest comedy you can do is, uh, this is, uh, Americans are stupid. Aren't Americans stupid? And it's for this type of stupid, cheap British person with their sort of lowest denominator of humor, who's wants to see Americans are stupid, you know? They, the, Jerry Springer was the number one number one TV show in the UK it was Jerry Springer and they said yes because it appealed to British people to let them know that they are still superior and better than Americans and Hicks went around doing acts doing appearances and that was his running theme was don't worry you're right actually I'm from the USA and they are stupid ignorant uh they don't know anything yeah so fuck that guy so he's a sellout you know he did that for money he did that to earn money that's why he did that it's not like he was dying to go to the uk and he's just an asshole in addition to all of that so nobody's happy that the guy you know nobody's happy when somebody dies early and dies young uh, but uh, fuck that guy, and, and it's no loss to anyone. It was a nice relief to the comedy world. Okay, let's give Hicks some credit. A relatively short career. If you dig through what is a lot of trash, he has one or two good lines. He has one or two pretty solid bits that were quite good. That's about it, really. I think this guy is just highly overrated.